Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be painting this cute little mouse. Get your canvas out and ready. You're gonna wanna put a little bit of these paint colors onto your plate. We've got white, red, blue, and black for this painting. Um, the easiest way to get the paint out of your pot so that you're not mixing and dirtying up the entire container, I just scoop a little bit out with a butter knife and then you can easily just scrape it off and then wipe it with a towel to get the next color. It's a lot easier than cleaning a brush out in between each scoop. So I've got my brushes and a paper towel and a jar, which I've used for a few paintings now of water. Um, so for this painting, we're gonna do the background first and I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. So I'm just gonna start with just plain blue and I'm gonna swoosh it across, nice long strokes, about to this area here. So this top part is gonna be nice bright blue I'm not filling it in completely perfect right now because I also want to mix a little bit of black in there. So on my dirty brush, just take a little bit of black and you're gonna swoop that through. Nice and blended. Get more blue to help make it cover the entire canvas. You don't want lots of little white specks of canvas showing through. So it doesn't really take a lot of black. You'll put a few little spots on and then use blue to help spread it around. So I'm gonna pick up my canvas just so that I'm not painting my table. Just more blue. And you can take great big scoops of it because you really want to get this blended and while this is still wet and you've got your black and blue just kind of starting to mush together you're going to take a little bit of white in there as well so i've got this whole top part still nice and wet it's important that it's nice and wet if it's drying just take more blue So I've got that nice and wet. I'm gonna take just a little blue on my dirty, or sorry, white on my dirty brush. And I'm gonna spread that through there as well. So try to do nice long strokes from one end to the other. I'm gonna be a little bit more white. Nice long strokes. Now for the remaining part of my background, I'm just going to be using blue. And you don't need to clean out your brush. All those other colors, the white and the black, if you get a little bit that wants to come through down at the bottom, that's fine. So, okay. oops, got a big old glob on my edge. So, while I'm using the blue, just gonna go maybe a little bit ways down with just the plain blue. And I'm gonna start adding little bits of white in. So, blue. Crazy dog. She just came in, she's constant, in and out, in and out. A little bit more white. Now I'm just gonna fill the remainder in with white and whatever blue I still have on my brush. So the lightest part is down here around his head and ears. And I'm just grabbing white at this point. There's lots of blue on my brush still that is wet and will blend right into this. I'm just gonna back and forth, nice long strokes. 
And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So not gonna clean out my brush. Just take plain blue, start here on this edge. Get a little bit filled in. Try not to paint my table. and start working little bits of white in. Just do some more blue. Got a lot on my brush. I'm gonna take just plain white and fill the remainder in. this little bit down here in this corner. It's a little bit of white on my brush. And there we have our background. We'll go ahead and get that, <coughs> excuse me, brush cleaned out. <coughs> excuse me and we will start painting our mouse and we're just gonna give him a nice coat of white to start if you want to take a sharpie marker over his face so you can outline the mouth lines the teeth and all that feel free your white paint will allow that pencil to show through so you don't really need to worry about it too much unless you have a tendency to paint really thick and globby. So get your brush cleaned out, dried off. Just white paint. And we're gonna get this mousy's face, this whole head painted white. You can paint the nose if you want, it's not necessary. It's gonna be pink later. I'm just going to rotate this around so I can rest my hand a little better. Get this edge nice and smooth. So you get his ears. You don't have to paint the little scarf. So right under his head, there's this little line. I'll show you this way. There's this line here. That's a scarf, but his little hands need to be white. brushes just cleaning it out again because I had some blue down in here that was starting to ooze into my paint and I don't want my mouth to turn blue so I got his little hands smaller brush probably would be better but it's okay if you get messy onto the area that's the scarf, because when we paint that red, we can clean up that line. So no big deal. All right. Oops, I missed a spot right there. Now I'm gonna do inside of his ears pink. I'm just gonna, I have white on my brush, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of red 
And it's okay that there's white in there because we're actually going to be adding some white. So we have this nice bright pink color, maybe a little bit more white. And I'm gonna brush inside his ears. And I'll leave the outside edge a little. Want that to stay white. I'm going to make my pink a little bit darker by just a teeny bit more red. And just right here where it's next to the scarf and the head, let's make that a little bit darker. And then we can paint his nose. Nice shade of pink. Probably should use a smaller brush. And I'm gonna paint his little nose. Next, we'll do the scarf red. Um, you can use whatever size brush you feel comfortable with. It's kind of a medium sized shape, but there are the little points between the fingers. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use my small one just so I can get in those little grooves nice and tight. So just using plain red paint, small brush. I'm gonna come around his little fingers. Oh, Jossie, you hear her barking? When you're using a small brush and you're kind of filling in bigger spaces, you tend to get more streaks and more globs because the paint wants to pull up around the outside edge of your bristles. So just make sure you're getting everything spread out nice and even. I just like to rotate my canvas around to a position that is most comfortable and where I can rest my hand. So when you see me turning my canvas around, it's not to confuse you, I promise. It's just so that it's comfortable and I'm not resting my hand in wet paint somewhere.
So there, I have the scarf painted. Next, I'm gonna just wipe my brush out. You don't necessarily have to clean it, but you do wanna get the excess red off. And then just using a little bit of white paint, I'm just gonna put some streaks in it. So it's got kind of like stripies. So just some little stripes. I got some wide stripes and then I'm putting some little skinny ones in between. But you can do it however you like. I did get a little bit of pink up on this little paw. So I'm just going to touch that up. All better. Now we're going to make a light gray. And we're going to kind of put a little shadowing on him. Oh, you know what we're going to do first? Before we do the light gray, let's give him a tail. Mostly needs a tail. Make sure you get that brush cleaned out nice. I've got kind of this medium size. And I'm just going to come from over here, kind of swirl it over and bring it around. So he's got a nice long curly tail. Just some white on my brush. And just come from the edge here. And just curl it around. Now you can go back in and touch it up if you want. I might even be better off going back in with my smaller brush to try to clean it up a little. Which is what I should do. I'm gonna take my smaller brush, just kind of here where it got a little weird. Fix that up a little. Now I'll make a little bit of gray. So my small brush, nice scoop of white over to the side. It's got a little pink in it. Just get rid of that. And then a little bit of black. So a little bit of black and with quite a bit of white, just make this nice light gray. And then I'm gonna just kind of brush a little bit on the tail. And I'm gonna a little on the ears. And on the outside edge, just a little. And I'm gonna go around his little fingers. Then next, we're gonna do some little bit of black outlining. I need to touch up a little bit of pink right here on this edge. So the black outlining, we're gonna go around the edge of the nose. Just a little bit of black. So I'm just gonna do this outside edge. And I use the very edge of my brush so I can get that thinner line. A skinny, very skinny liner brush would be perfect for this, but I don't have one here.
go and put the line between the teeth and the little bottom of the mouth line. Something looks funky. And then this area here under the teeth gets filled in black inside of his mouth. And we have one more little line, just right up under his mouth, his little lip, or chin, or whatever you want to call it. And inside the nose, we have little lines that go up and kind of curve at the top for his little nose. Next, we can do whiskers. I do have this liner brush. Thank goodness I have at least one. It's kind of thick, but I'm gonna use this for white to do long, swoopy whiskers. So I'm gonna get some white. I'm gonna find clean white here in my pile. Put it over here on my plate, and I'm gonna thin it out with some water. And I know my water is dirty, but it's not gonna look dirty when I paint with it. I'm just thinning out that white paint so I can do nice long swoopy lines. So this will help the flow. I'll get to go further with my stroke without running out of paint. So I'll just do a very short one. A long one. Long one. It's got lots of whiskers. Some short ones in between. Now the tricky part is going to try to make that look the same on the other side. I'm going to flip it because I do better with this side of my camera. So I just got to change direction. So I'm going down this time instead of up, just because I flipped. So he's got nice long, Fluffy whiskers. Next, let's see what else we need. We need some snow. Also need some like freckle bits. So using my light gray, I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker, adding a little bit more black to it. little pile. You don't need much of this. We're just going to put a few little tiny specks, but I'm going to use the opposite side of my brush. So I'm just going to clean that in so I don't get paint somewhere. I don't want it. And using the back end of my brush, I'm going to dip it in the gray and just lightly dot in a few little, like little freckles. These are like just the little holes that the whiskers grew on of. Yeah. Just got a few on both sides. And then next, let's do some snowflakes. I'm going to use the same watery down white, except I'm going to make a little bit more and a little bit more water because I'm going to be doing snowflakes. 
So let's start with a nice, great big one right here. I don't know, I'm probably not in the view. So right in this area, it's gonna do a nice long line. Go right through it like a plus sign. And then right through that, like an X. So I've got one there. Maybe I'll put one here. Little one here. How about one here? One here. And these can go wherever you want. Try to space mine out a little bit. And now that I have all where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of detail on them. So, just some lines through. Maybe a couple of dots on the ends. This one, maybe like little V shapes in the middle of the little sticks. And then on the ends, maybe just a couple of little dash lines, kind of like an equal sign. And if you don't want to do snowflakes like this, you can just do little circles all over, like little dots. This one, how about we do lots of little lines on the edges. It's going to be a fancy one. And then maybe some little dots on the ends. And then you can just kind of repeat those same ones or come up with some different ones. I'm gonna just do little lines. Then maybe close together lines on the ends. And maybe some dots. So I'm just doing like little V's. some big dots on the ends of this one. I flip it around so I don't smear what I've painted. Maybe I'll add some long, some short lines in the middle. Make you look fluffier. There. I think that completes this painting. I don't see anything that looks like we've missed or forgotten. I'm going to go ahead and sign my name right down here. I'm going to use white because it's red and pink. Should be able to show up there. Fabulous. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> before I go into my spiel. One more thing that I think he needs, maybe just like a little swoop of white across the top of his nose so it looks kind of wet and shiny. 
Now we're good. Now I'll hate you with my spiel about how I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. So check out the next one. There's lots. I've got lots this time for, for you kiddos and people just starting out and not, not ever done it before and want to try it. These are pretty easy. Um, the more you do it, the better you get. That's for sure. I didn't start out good at it. Um, so if you want to share your work, your paintings with me, just go to Facebook and my business page, the at sign at paint willy nilly. You can like the page or you don't have to do that. You can just send me a message with your paintings, your pictures, or you can post right to the wall. So whatever you decide, I do like seeing them though. So please share. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next video.